Uh, I will present, I make this presentation among um, with Pepe Flores, who is in Mexico, in Puebla, in the city of Puebla. Uh, this is a, only a briefly introduction to this matter, to this subject, because uh, maybe many of, of us uh, doesn't know uh, too much or, or not aware about this, this theme. So the, the intention of this talk is may, make only an introduction uh, make uh, only a, a, a quickly panorama about the, these two themes, so and begin the conversation, and trying to to search uh, some answers and trying to foster a discussion inside the Wikimedia movement about these these themes. So uh, thanks and well, what we understand by net neutrality, uh, if you if we use the definition of Wikipedia. Uh, we can find the use of this uh, concept as network neutrality, internet neutrality, or net equality things. Uh, it's uh, the principle in general terms that the internet service providers, or we will uh, refer uh, providers as, uh, as ESPs and governments, uh, should treat all the data on the internet in the same, no discriminating or charging differentially by user, content, site, platform, application, type of attached equipment, or mode of communication. The, in general, in general terms, we are referring to neutrality and all the the the, the attempts of, of of regulation in addition of the regulation that are uh, given to the internet in in several countries. And you can say me, with all the confidence, why it's important for us. No, why, why, I will refer uh, first uh, as uh, as internet users, not uh, not Wikipedians. Wikipedians will shown in the next slides. But you can say me why it's important to me as an internet user. Well, uh, first, uh, protecting the neutrality uh, protects the open internet in the future. So uh, in these in this, uh, in this, uh, discussions about the functioning of the internet, we are uh, involving more uh, items to the functioning of the internet in the recent years, because uh, 20 years ago, we never imagined that Wikipedia will be the fifth uh, site of the, in the world. We never imagined that Skype will have the relevance that we have uh, today with services like that. Yeah, we have an, uh, several new players on the internet panorama around the world. So uh, many uh, internet service providers uh, are always intended to protect their own interest, of course. So uh, in, in, in some cases uh, around the world, we have uh, the intention or the, uh, of, or the the interest of the of these providers to be like a gatekeeper of the internet, uh, to be at the front of, of of the access to the internet and this and make decisions about what we are saying and and what uh, what we are uh, trying to consume uh, on internet. Uh, what uh, why is important for us because uh, particular services, some apps, some websites uh, can be benefited or discarded for the ESP regulations of the internet service. Why, uh, what are the, the, the ways of attack net neutrality in the world? Well, uh, the, the, one of the main threats against the net neutrality uh, are the, the call it zero rating services. This is, uh, zero rating services are shown in, in different ways in, in, in every country. This is a, 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 spe a specific uh, treat on, on, on third world countries, on, 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 on global south countries, because uh, the argument of the providers uh, are, will be always give access of, for, to more people. So you, uh, the, the ways of, of, the, of, of zero rating services are very different. So you can buy a chip, for an example, and get some services and some offers bullying specific providers. So uh, these, these, these kind of services are uh, creating new uh, difference between the, off the different offerings into the, the providers of internet. 
We have, for an example, I, I, I know that in many of your countries you have uh, bundle packs. No, uh, in, when you have, if you buy this cheap, you can have Spotify for free, Facebook for free, Twitter for free, and uh, and that that uh, characteristic uh, sets a difference between the providers, and some providers can have advantage to others in specific services. Uh, we can have other uh, treats to the net neutrality, for an example, when some internet providers throttle the, the, all the bandwidth for uh, benefit some services. For an example, in some countries, you have uh, services who are benefited by more speed because the same company are managing the service, for an example, the, of, of movies or whatever, like, like, like Netflix. And on the other hand, the other company who are, who are making the competence against the other uh, doesn't have the same bandwidth or the same speed throttling the services of, of, that, that they are offering. And data discriminations. You know, in some countries, uh, some uh, companies uh, are acting against peer uh, interchange of, of files, no? Because they are saying that they, uh, they, they, they don't want the, that kind of interchange of files between persons. What are the net neutrality risks in, in this panorama? Well, we can, uh, uh, acting as a gatekeeper of the internet, uh, try to try to to imagine a, 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 a small company who wants to compare to make a competence into internet with a new creativity app, and uh, if the if, if the internet service providers act as a gatekeeper of that internet, we are reducing the possibility of new players into the digital economy. Uh, if we can make inhibition of new projects because you don't have any guarantee to be present in, in this new digital panorama. And the, more, and the most important is for, for us in this Wikimania, as, as a Wikipedist, is that try to imagine you as editors with restricted access to internet and write Wikipedia. Do you imagine? Uh, Wikipedia sourced with an internet with barriers, because many services are offered as internet. The the the, the most uh, no, well known is uh, internet.org by Facebook. That, uh, but imagine that if we are if we as, as editors have an internet with barriers for, of access, if, if we if we don't have an open internet. This guy are saying, thanks, Wikipedia, no? best, Mark. <laughs> because uh, when some people from India told to Zuckerberg that you are doing bad things to the internet, uh, internet.org are, uh, are against the net neutrality, and Zuckerberg told, well, to give more people access to the internet, it's useful to offer some service for free. If someone can afford to pay for connectivity, it is always better to have some access than none at all. And that is the tricky part. Because uh, actually, Wikipedia is included in zero rating plans around the world. We as a Wikipedia are in this game. Because he, he are acting very innocent, saying, no, well, we, we, we want to give more internet to more people in the developing countries, no? We prefer some access that none, not known at all. But in this case, Facebook and internet service providers are curating the internet. This, this uh, picture is from, from India, where uh, many people, instead many Wikipedians present in this Wikimania, protested against the net neutrality in India. And this uh, tweet by Mishi Choudhary is very, very explicit. Uh, this uh, says, the, this so-called philanthropy is nothing but an attempt to buy the de-anonymized packets of the Indian poor at a bull grade boycott. Boycott free basics. Uh, and the, the most interesting part is that on February 8th of this year, the India's regulator, TRI, took a, a really revolutionary decision, prohibiting the telecom service providers from making this kind of discriminatory plans. And that kind of bundle packs with some Facebook, Wikipedia, Twitter for free are 
totally banned in, on India. Uh, Pepe, are you there? <laughs> yeah. Uh, well, uh, I'm, uh, you, I'm going to talk about uh, what's the, the part of Wikipedia Zero uh, regarding net, net neutrality and regarding uh, the situation. Uh, as you know, Wikipedia, uh, our encyclopedia, is intended to spread knowledge in all languages and for everyone. No, but despite our good intentions with Wikipedia Zero, uh, Wikipedia is now a big player on the internet. So one of the biggest problems uh, regarding Wikipedia Zero, Zero is that we are creating uh, a walled garden. We are putting some barriers in order to guarantee free access to encyclopedia. Uh, let me phrase it in this way. When you have a zero rating connection, you can access to Wikipedia, to any Wikipedia article. And that's very cool. You, you have access to, to knowledge. But what happens when you're trying to click on one of the reference links or you want to uh, access to the, uh, to the information where uh, the article is, is, uh, is based? In that, in, in that moment, uh, you are trying to get out of that uh, walled garden. You are trying to get out of that uh, barrier. And you need, uh, you need to pay. Uh, you, you, you're not guaranteed free access to the sources of the information. So, in a certain way, uh, we are not uh, really pursuing the, the, the objective of Wikipedia. That's, we, are, we are an encyclopedia, we are not a, a primary source. We, uh, we are trying to, um, to put that information that's outside, that's in the internet, into our site. So, uh, we are we are very deeper by, by ourselves on, on Wikipedia Zero. Uh, there are another, another troubles. No? We are um, indirectly giving advantage to certain ISPs, certain internet service providers, and we are participating in, in this game. Okay, so uh, another, another question uh, that we, or some questions that we are, um, or we need to start uh, making ourselves is if we really want internet service providers to be curators of the internet, do we want to give the the, the companies that uh, provide the internet uh, such a happy role on uh, what are we going to to see or what are we going to consume into um, the internet? Uh, we have a recent. Um, President coming from Angola that shows how hard it is to understand Wikipedia Zero within the global south economies. Uh, in Angola, uh, months ago, uh, people start to smuggle some uh, copyright uh, protected contents, such as movies or books or uh, TV series, into media companies. They were uploading the files using another extensions in order to hide them within uh, the content of commons, and then they were linking into the Wikipedia in Portuguese. So when you click a certain uh, link, you could download a movie, you could download uh, a book uh, using the zero rating, uh, the zero rating service, Wikipedia zero, using Wikipedia zero. So they, uh, they open this, this uh, hole in the wall to get access to the, to the whole internet. Uh, the problem was that uh, when the discussion came into the uh, Portuguese Wikipedia, one of the suggestions was to ban uh, editing from Wikipedia Zero. So you only consume Wikipedia, not the sources, you only consume the Wikipedia articles, but you wouldn't be able to edit those contents. So, uh, in order to fit some of the legislation uh, regarding uh, copyright regulations, you were basically uh, standing as a gatekeeper of what is people allowed to use or allowed to consume the internet, even though, you, or even though the encyclopedia, Wikipedia project has really good intention. Uh, there are certain ways in which zero rating can uh, be uh, 
tackled or can be used uh, with our um, with uh, a, a perspective of making the access to knowledge uh, more easy. But uh, right now we have a very imperfect way of, of, of doing this through uh, Wikipedia Zero. No? Uh, that's another question. No? Do our good faith and noble mission, should Wikipedia have to, needs to have a special position into the neutral panorama? And another one, and another very uncomfortable one question is, are we assuming that we are the monopoly about free knowledge and we will always be that? For example, we, uh, we are now thinking a project that has around 15 years uh, of experience doing this. And we are certainly a monopoly. We, we don't have any competition or there is no, there's not other projects like, like ours. But uh, are we uh, assuming that the panorama is always going to be in this way? Are we thinking that it's not going to be another Wikipedia or Wikipedia's uh, projects in the future? Are, uh, why are we uh, thinking on exemptions on our project and not in another access to knowledge project, present and future uh, in, this, uh, in this area? Uh, one of the, the things, or one of the important things about thinking on net neutrality in Wikipedia is that for certain uh, countries or for certain standpoints, net neutrality is seen or zero rating is, is seen as a um, transitional point. Uh -huh. uh, internet uh, access uh, through mobile, mobile internet access, it's getting technically, technically cheaper and cheaper. So uh, some people uh, in the global north uh, think, well, it's only a matter of time that uh, the global south will have this cheap access uh, or will have deployed the net so uh, you can grant everyone access to the internet uh, through mobile. And that, that's, not, that's not accurate. That's not my truth. Uh, we need to, to, to understand that the experience of internet is different in desktop, uh, a desktop co computer as different mobile, and even though you can uh, advance with mobile apps, you, you cannot uh, close yourself to uh, understand that, you, that, that our mission is mainly focused to grant uh, access to knowledge in every other uh, way we can. You know? There's there is the example of Kiwix, of, or for example, on Wikipedia plan, and there are other uh, strategies that, uh, for example, the um, the global uh, global group is, is discussing right now. So uh, we need to understand. And this is the the, the last um, phrase we we want to share with you: is that uh, Wikipedia is rich and complex and free because of neutrality. Net Neutrality is one of the uh, backbone things or the core things on the internet that allow us to create this uh, rich and diverse and encyclopedia for everybody and that allow us to keep going on our mission to make the sum of all knowledge available to everyone. So, uh, Ivan, I think that that's all. Uh, I don't know if we have time for questions or anything else. I would love to be there on a scenario with you. Uh, unfortunately, I'm not, but I hope this presentation uh, will uh, create some interesting questions uh, among you. Thanks, Pepe. Uh, any question for us? Let's, any opinion, comment? Okay, I understand that you are very confused about net neutrality. <laughs> uh, try to try to search. Ah, okay, yeah. Uh, just to comment on the follow-up um, after the February uh, ruling by Try in India, we're actually having another, um, uh, you know, uh, call for submission consultation uh, by the government. So it's actually been reopened, uh, and it's it's actually active at the moment. Okay, okay. So actually, um, 
you know, I was wondering whether, uh, you know, I was talking to, the uh, to Jeff and the other guys uh, to see whether the foundation is going to make a submission on that. Okay, very good to know. Uh, and I think the, uh, as in the international panorama, the, the Indian example was very important because it shows that uh, the, 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 the rules can change, no? Usually all the regulators always uh, used to, to benefit only to the providers, not the users. So I think it's very valuable. Follow up the, the Indian case about this and of course we have uh, you have all the support from other people from all the world uh, yeah I think you can be uh, pending about discussions uh, with the other organizations around the world who are working with this uh, surely in your countries there are some activists uh, who are working and making these discussions I think we as a Wikipedians we need to discuss inside the, 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 the same Wikimedia movement uh, inside of communities this kind of, of matters uh, thanks so much for your attention uh, and we are very happy to be here thanks Gracias, Pepe. thank you thank you